Okay, we're going to show you very quickly how to create a bar graph with discrete data. In this case, we've got data about the favorite sport, uh, five different sports to choose from, and the number of students who like that sport. Um, to make a graph, we're going to start by highlighting both the titles and the values for each of those columns. So we've got all that data highlighted. And you can do one of two things. If you don't see it on the toolbar here, if you click down on more, you should see uh, insert chart or you can go to the insert function here and choose chart. Either way will work. And once you do that, it's going to try to choose the chart it wants. In this case, uh, it's rightly chosen a bar graph. We could choose a pie graph here if we wanted or a yellow broken line graph or a number of other types of graphs, but we're gonna choose bar graph. And then we're gonna go to customization here. Um, we're going to change the title, for example. So instead we're just going to just call this favorite sports. And because there's only one set of data here, we don't necessarily need this label here. It's kind of redundant. So we're actually going to choose to not have a legend and get rid of that. And as we slide down, we can look, here's the information about the horizontal axis. It's already got a title there because we highlighted that information. If we wanted to, we could change the font or the size of the font. And if we want to change the vertical axis, we just drop this down and choose left vertical. And it's got a title there, number of students. Um, and we can actually choose the number of grid lines we want here. So right now there are five grid lines, including the zero, one, two, three, four, five. If we want, we can choose, let's say six grid lines and it breaks it up into six pieces. Um, or maybe what we want to do is have a maximum of 100. And when we do that, uh, that six grid lines will break it up into 20s. Uh, as we scroll down here, uh, there's other things that we can adjust. For example, we can change the color of the graph here. We can choose if we want to put the data labels on and that actually tells us the actual value in each of the uh, bars. So that might be useful. We'll leave that on for now. And once you're happy with that, you can just hit insert and there's your graph. You can actually move it to drag it to the side. If you want, you can resize it. Uh, just as you resize it, just note that some of the words may move depending on how big the font is. And that's as hard it is, as it is to create a bar graph using Google Sheets. And once we have the graph, it's pretty easy to change it. If you click on the graph and you drop this uh, little arrow down, uh, you can see all these advanced, uh, these, these choices here. We can go to advanced edit and open that window up again. If I want, I can actually go and change the type of chart under recommendations. Maybe I wanted a horizontal bar graph and uh, I can simply click that over, go back to my customization. Uh, maybe I want to change my title back to favorite sports. And Assuming I like everything the way it is here, I can change some of those things or keep them uh, the way they are, hit update, and my graph has changed.